If you're working with NeoVim and Node.js, I got a tip for you. Recently, I discovered the package info plugin for NeoVim that allows you to update, delete, install, change the versions of the packages in your package JSON without going to the terminal. So you see the virtual text on the right. Uh, for example, the view use slash nuxt package has a, has a new version. Instead of 10.5.0, the latest one is 10.6.1. So let's see how that works. If I do litter and then C for code, we can see that there's a packages group right here. So let's get into that and we'll see change package version, delete, install, update, and toggle. Toggle basically just hides the virtual text. So let's bring that back. Again, I should probably set that to T instead of V, but that's a little note for me. Uh, let's try updating the view use next package. So leader C, P, and then U for update. It's going to ask us, do you really want to update? Uh, let's go for it. And it's going to do that in the background and it's going to update our package JSON. There we go. It's going to update our package JSON file. There is a way for the plugin to also report on the status when it's loading or not. I saw that on GitHub. I just didn't have enough time to configure that. Uh, but it's doable. It's doable. All right, so um, let's also update Prettier CPU. Do that again. Give it a minute. Actually, no, give it like three seconds and it's going to update that. But we can also delete. So let's delete Superbase. CPD for deleting. Confirm, and it should be gone. There we go. Uh, now let's bring it back. So that was a dev dependency, as you can see from the top. Uh, let's do litter CPI for install package. It's going to ask us where we want to install it. And this was a dev dependency. So let's, uh, so let's select development and then super base. Give it a few seconds. Beautiful, there we go. This is neat, right? Let's see how it's configured. I'm using uh, LazyVim, so inside of my Lua slash plugins slash, where was it? Package-info.lua file, I I just defined it. So I define it as a, as a package. It has a dependency, nui.nvim, so make sure to add that one. And because I'm using catpuchin, I, I needed to change the color to use the color from the catpuchin theme. That's why I expanded on the config. I bring in the catpuchin colors from the Mocha palette, set up the package info uh, plugin. First, I'm setting the package manager to PMPM. That does not mean that it's always going to use PMPM. It is capable uh, to figure it out on its own. For example, if there is a package log JSON, it's not going to use PMPM, it's just going to use NPM. Or if there's a yarn log file, it's going to use yarn. But if it cannot detect any log files, it's going to use PMPM by default. If you're using yarn, just set it to yarn and you're good. Then I'm setting the hide up to date field to true. And that's basically don't uh, display any virtual texts on the rest of the packages that are not out of date, right? So for example, TypeScript and Vue, they have new versions, but the rest of them don't show any virtual text. That's basically the hide up to date. And I like to remove as much distractions as possible. That's that. And this is how I set the outdated color to the colors.peach from the uh, catpuchin palette. Cool. Uh, this is it. Then we go to the color scheme and I needed to do this because even though I set the color to the peach color, it still wasn't being applied to. So I needed to expand on the catpuchin uh, plugin, add a custom highlight with this field, package info outdated version, and set that to peach as well. And that's how I pretty much fixed this. Uh, so that, that is the only thing that I needed to do because I'm using catpuchin. Maybe you don't need to. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and of course, then we have the key maps. And while we're here, I can also fix that one. So here's the toggle. Here's how you define the key maps. Instead of CPV, I'm actually going to change this to CPT for toggle. So yeah, code, packages, toggle. You just require the package info uh, plugin and invoke toggle on it. 
Note that I also have a description or DESC uh, for each of the key maps. Uh, this actually populates the which key plugin. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to configure that as well. And yeah, these are the rest of the uh, key maps. You can find all of these in the GitHub repo of the uh, plugin. I just copy pasted everything. I use the set key map, which I have here. So that's vim.api.nvimsetkeymap. And yeah, this is how I set the key maps. And let's also go to the which key plugin. So I am expanding on the which key plugin to add the leader CP group, set the name to plus packages, because if I don't do that, it's just going to be plus prefix. And I just wanted to do leader C for code and the P for packages right here. That's the only thing that this line right here does so that I can name the group. But the labels right here, the change package version, the delete package, all these things are actually defined here in the key map. Yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty neat package. Check it out.